Scary Mr. Potato Head, Beetlejuice, and Creepy Z-Bots. These are the 10 scariest Burger King toys ever. Number 10, Mr. Potato Head. This toy is scary for two reasons. For one, the Burger King Junior Meal Pack comes with the French fries, which are made from potatoes. So that's a potato toy next to some potatoes. If Mr. Potato Head was alive, we know what he'll be saying, and it won't be safe for kids. Secondly, and the scariest of all, it's that the toy just looks creepy. From the wide, still eyes to the large ears and the huge feet and creepy smile. If you stare at this toy long enough, you'll start getting creeped out. It looks like Mr. Potato Head is thinking of all the wrong things, and you don't want to be on the receiving end of that. It was the cheapest design Burger King could get, and they just didn't care how many nightmares they left in their wake. Number 9. The Dangerous and Daring Books Let's get one thing straight. Books are not toys. We don't know how Burger King failed to see this, but they did. But that's not even the worst part. Adding books called The Dangerous Books for Boys and The Daring Book for Girls into a children's meal pack is enough to make us raise our eyebrows. What are those names, first of all? And what do they mean? Once you get past the scary outside and into the box, you start to notice just how silly the whole thing is. First of all, the book for boys is all about survival tips, general knowledge facts, and how to do things. In what world do children need survival tips? Does Burger King know something we don't? On the other hand, the book for girls is just sad. It's not as interesting as the one for boys, and it's about how to do things. A book with daring in its name only teaches girls how to make friendship bracelets, paint and play double dutch. It's the sort of reach that makes your back ache. At the end of the day, we don't see these are toys, or why they should be given to children in the first place. The scariest part of this toy is that the toys in the box are molds of fossils and insects with some Play-Doh. Of all the things in the world, why fossils and insects? Number 8. Z-Bots Sometimes we're so caught up with some particular things that we forget there are others out there, like the Z-Bots, for instance. Not many people knew these toys were made by Galoob, the same toy maker that made Micro Machines. Instead of the little cars we came to know and love, the Z-Bots were robots that had different weapons on them. While it might seem like a good toy in the face of it, some of the Z-Bots were just creepy to look at. For example, one of the bots had long eyes sticking out at each side of its head. And it wasn't regular eyes, it had bug eyes. But it gets worse, its head is just a giant mouth, so there's no nose or ears. Below that is a large stomach with large legs on either side. That's a badly made toy and it doesn't look good at all. If you think that the toys we talked about so far are scary, well, it gets worse. Now we're going to take a look at the Fantastic Four toys for Rise of the Silver Surfer, Hourglass Space Sprout, and Shrek 2 toys. Number 7, Fantastic Four. If we're being honest, the Fantastic Four haven't had a great run over the years. No matter how much we love the cartoons, the movies always turn out quite bad. You'd think this luck stayed on the big screen, but you'd be wrong. When the movie Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer came out, Burger King jumped on the toys but it wasn't good. Anyone who loves the Fantastic Four will look forward to seeing the four heroes showing their powers. But that was not the case here. Whoever made the toy collection made them almost the same way. Even though you can see each character like Doctor Doom, Mr. Fantastic, Invisible Woman, Human Torch, The Thing, and The Silver Surfer, one thing was obvious, they weren't shaped right. All the toys had large hands. It makes sense for The Thing to have large hands, but they gave it to all the other toys. Let's just say it didn't turn out right, especially for the Silver Surfer, because he looked just like a scary blob of metal. Number 6. Hourglass Space Sprout Even though the Hourglass Space Sprout toys were made for toddlers, you can't help but ask, why? Why did Burger King bother to make such a toy if it was going to be terrible, scare the kids, and give adults a fright anyway? First of all, the toy is bad because only toddlers would find it fun, if at all. So that leaves kids at the age of 4 with a toy that they won't even want to play with. But it gets worse. The toy started to give children a fright when tiny beads started flying out. So imagine you're shaking this silly toy you find in your meal pack, and out flies a tiny piece to bump you in the forehead. Or worse still, all the beads spill out all over the place. Kids aren't the cleverest, so many will try to eat the beads. And what do you get? A choking hazard. Now it's parents' turn to be scared. After many people started speaking up, Burger King took back the toys and stopped adding them to the meals. Imagine if the beads fell into the food and kids ate them without knowing. Number 5. Shrek 2 
Shrek is a classic for many reasons. It has great and funny characters, a good story, and some of the many stories from our childhood. There were many other Shrek movies after the first one, and they were quite good too. So in 2004, when Shrek 2 came out, Burger King decided to make some toys for the cartoon. But these toys were terrible. The scary part was the donkey toy. We know that Donkey can be annoying with all the things he says and does, but that wasn't a good enough reason for Burger King to turn him into a monster. The toy had a very large head on a small body. And what is that creepy smile on its face? It turned out that they made Donkey's head so big because they put a clock in his mouth. Why though? Why not just make a watch with a Donkey theme? Number 4. Barnyard Commandos Before Burger King made Barnyard Commandos toys, the toys were made by Playmates Toys. They were often weird in their own way, but looked cute and lovable at the same time. The toys even had a TV show for a short time. Likely because not many kids liked them. But even though Barnyard Commandos weren't as popular as other toys, they were fairly good until Burger King came along. The Barnyard Commandos are a group of pigs and sheep that can talk and walk. They even had silly names like Private Sido Bacon. What made this toy fail for Burger King is that kids didn't even know or like Barnyard Commandos that much in the first place. Secondly, the toys that Burger King made looked like a jet or spider. And the pigs just look terrifying, with mean faces and no smiles. They look like they'd rather be somewhere else. Who can blame them? Starting out, things get serious. It's now time to look at Silly Slammers, a bunch of ugly dolls to throw around. Beetlejuice, two-sided dolls with terrifying looks, and Lifesavers Freaky Fellas, which looks as bad as it sounds. Number 3. Silly Slammers the fastest way to get on the nerves of parents is to give their children toys that make sounds when thrown around. And that's exactly what Burger King did with the Silly Slammers. For one, the toy isn't the most creative thing out there. It only made silly sounds when thrown against a hard surface, and that was about it. The Silly Slammers were a toy to fight your siblings with, make your parents angry, nothing more. But Burger King couldn't even be bothered to put some thought into the toys. They were some of the ugliest toys we've ever seen. It didn't help that they had a Halloween theme, so when you weren't playing with them, they were just too creepy to look at or keep around. Number 2. Beetlejuice If you're surprised that Beetlejuice made it onto our list, maybe it's because you didn't see the toys that Burger King put out. The toys looked like they were made at the last minute. Even though the real Beetlejuice were a bunch of weird looking characters, Burger King's version was scarier. The main character's face looked something out of a bad dream. But oh yeah, it gets worse. The collection had characters like Beetlejuice, Sandworm, Delia, Liddy, and Charles. Everyone seemed to have their regular outfit except Delia who was given pink hair, like she didn't already look bad. On the back of the characters were another version of them, which just made the toy spookier and not in a good way. With that hair, Delia looks like she's about to do something really bad. Now on to the moment we've all been waiting for. Number 1. Lifesavers Freaky Fellas During the 90s when Lifesavers Freaky Fellas toys came out from Burger King, they had many places to take toy ideas from. There was TV, other kids toys, movies, even pop culture. But what do we know? Burger King instead went with some scary alien monsters that no one could understand. It doesn't even make sense that they did this because the toys were for a candy called Lifesavers, which wasn't a part for Burger King. Why did they even bother? The only part of this toy they got right was the name. It was a bunch of freaky fellas. But it gets worse. The point of the Lifesavers freaky fellas was to save hard candy for later. So they weren't really toys. If this makes you wonder, why then were they in the kids meal? We also don't know. Like children weren't already getting too much sugar from soda, they had to add more sweets. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon.